you know, growing up here, you can't help but participate in the harvest and what comes out of the, the ground, which is just phenomenal. Uh, all during the summer, uh, depending on what was running, whether it was uh, asparagus or cherries or um, any number of fruits and vegetables, peaches, apples, apricots, pears, it's all here and it's all fresh. And we would take advantage of that when I was a kid. I miss uh, picking cherries and filling the bins, <laughs> which is not something you want to do, but it's something we did as a kid. Um, the, the beauty of the, of the valley is the fact that there are four seasons here, four real distinct seasons. Where I'm living now, I don't have the luxury of that. L.A. has got, you know, kind of two seasons, dry and wet. So it's really fun to be able to come home and experience a fall here. And you know it's fall because of the smell in the valley. It's like a sort of smell of burning leaves and of the harvest, and it's just, it's beautiful. Um, not to mention the fact that the light here is very special in the fall, as it comes in at a different angle. Um, and, and the valley changes completely. The colors change here, the greens, you know, and the light greens of spring into the real intense dark greens of the summer when everything is flourishing and growing to fall when everything starts to die off and you have the colors and the changing of the colors. So there's a beautiful drive that you can take from Yakima down to the lower valley um, that borders the river. And uh, there's these beautiful old farmhouses along the way and, 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 and all of the colors are changing of all the leaves, of all the fruit trees and all the grapes. It's stunning. When I come back to town, uh, the things I do usually involve my dad, uh, who's still living here. So we get a chance to go out and play golf, and there's a number of terrific courses in the valley. Um, we, he's a member of the Yakima Country Club, so we go out there. And it's like uh, kind of going home for me. I spent a lot of time there when I was a kid growing up and working on the golf course and playing. Well, some of the highlights of the valley are... are um, maybe the, the the best of the people. You've got really friendly people here, easygoing. Um, they um, I'd love to share the knowledge of what's happening here. Uh, maybe give you a, a pointer about something you should see or you know or something you might want to avoid. Um, it's a real friendly community. Um, apart from that, I mean there's just there's so many things to to do here. I was thinking just about um, how fun it is to float the Yakima River in the heat of summer, which is a, a great afternoon activity uh, and an incredibly beautiful surrounding. The canyon that runs between Yakima and Ellensburg is, uh, I always try and drive that when I'm coming back over from Seattle because it's one of the prettiest drives ever. Um, there's a, they've set up a really extraordinary walk or run, if you happen to be athletic, along the river here that sort of surrounds the community called the Greenway. and. Uh, it is um, three or four miles long, I think, and uh, whenever I'm home and I have a chance to, I usually run that, you know, or at least walk part of it, because it's, it runs right along the river, so you get the smell of these beautiful trees and the sound of the water, and I mean, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to do. Well, I always try and make a trip to Gasparetti's, which, uh, and I've known John Gasparetti for years and years and years, he's a family friend. And uh, they do just, and they make excellent use of the local produce. And uh, it's uh, a restaurant that's got a real great vibe and feel to it. There's a beautiful theater here. I'm actually going to be performing uh, uh, soon in, um, at the Capitol Theater. It's an old road, roadhouse theater and uh, stunning inside. And that's worth, uh, you know, popping in to take a look. And then they got the Yakima Valley Museum. Uh, which is also worth a visit. Um, and they have a number of different shows that are on now. Um, there's a few things. There's, there's quite a bit to do here, you know. But more and more, I think, uh, the idea of people coming here and, and sort of get involved in what's happening with the wine area is pretty exciting. At least that's bringing people here initially. And they discover the, the beauty of the valley. <laughs>